once the, the code is checked in into SP and how do you do it. So Jenkins, Jenkins has a user interface where you can create a job which uh, job uh, jobs which pulls the data from SVN or from kit and execute the build through ant or fing, fing commands. So what is, now let me explain what is ant. Ant is basically a, a Java based tool, uh, sorry Apache tool uh, which is used for uh, automating the building process. Uh, now I have put ant as well as fing. Why fing? Fing is more uh, more native to PHP. But it is again a uh, Apache tool, which is which mostly acts uh, works on Ant, but Fing is uh, is more uh, nat more native to PHP. So once you create the job, and then you run, and it builds. So we can go in detail on this in the further presentation. So this is how you create a job on Jenkins. So you can see how simple it is. You create a project name, you create a description of this thing. Then you create a project uh, where uh, your source code details are, plus many more things which is there. If you look at the right side, these are the uh, these are the uh, menus which you get it on Jenkins. So it is so user friendly. It is, and again, Jenkins is a very uh, it's an open source uh, tool basically. So our next step is to do a build and install, build or deploy. So this is basically, uh, this basically is a, a thumb rule or you can say the best practices which we use for the projects in PHP. So uh, the different types of builds which we created for the projects was, one was integration build and one was module wise build. So let me just get into what is integration build. So what integration build is basically, uh, if it defined as a build that occurs periodically to test that all the code can be linked together. So in layman's term, so there are 10 developers developing a code and it gets integrated into one area and uh, when the when's the integration build is divided. Module wise build is basically a small team is working on small modules and that small module is tested on the uh, on the area or, or the tested as in the code analysis runs on on, on those things. So these are the two different types of uh, build types which which is uh, done for doing this. Let me just, this is, sorry, this is, okay. Now this is the screen where you can see uh, integration builds. This is these are the integration builds which uh, which uh, which can be differentiated on the basis of uh, different projects. Like suppose you have ten projects working in your uh, ten projects for one uh, one uh, one client. So you can create ten different integration builds with different multiple slaves for uh, one slave atta attached to the uh, one project. So these are the different integration builds which can be added. And then once this integration builds, which shows you the color, the red color is failed and green color is uh, uh, the the build is passed. So once this build is green, what it does is internally it creates a package which can be again deployed into the other servers like your system test uh, for uh, for tester to test or uh, system integration test SIT or then further goes on pre-prod. So this is the integration build which actually comes from other builds. Once the other builds are built, basically a module wise build, if suppose get this, this is a module wise build which has been done. So this module, once all this module, the module wise build goes green, then the integration build actually uh, triggers and which, which, which improves the quality. Now how does it improve the quality? Let's go in detail with that. So this is a running the code analysis. So what is running code analysis? Running code analysis is like checking if suppose developer has not followed a coding standards or he's not, uh, he's doing something wrong with the code, writing uh, wrong for loops and etc. So there are some ready tools which is available to do all this uh, checkings. So these are some code analysis tool which is called checklist, uh, check style sorry, then PHP MD, code coverage, PHP depend, 
and PHP code paste detector. So I'll be going through this, uh, each of them. Uh, I'll be going in detail for first three, which is uh, more important for me. So this is a check style warning. Basically what is check style? Check style as it defines is a static code analysis tool used in software development for checking if the PHP source code compiles with the, with the coding rules. So basically what it does, it checks whether the, your developer is following, following the coding rule. So this is basically a, uh, for in PHP what we use is PHP code sniffer which gets you the check style report. Code sniffer is a tool which, uh, which, is, which is part of peer. Actually when you install, with the peer you can install the code sniffer and it gets you a check style uh, report for you like how, uh, whether you have, what mistake you have done in the code. Whether you have not followed the check style or something. So this is, this is how you integrate the, integrate it with the Jenkins. This is the code which is, uh, uh, this is the way you integrate it into Jenkins. So this is how the check style uh, report looks report looks like. So if you look at this, this is a check style trend, and this is a check style report uh, results, uh, the warning trends, the uh, the details, the warnings, the normal and low, and all those details which is there for the check style result. Now these results are visible to all the users, uh, right from all the stakeholders, like uh, maybe for your client or maybe for uh, maybe for higher authorities who can uh, look into this. So our next tool is PHPMD. So what is PHPMD? PHPMD is basically a PHP mess detector. So what it does basically is detects the problem which is there in the code. Say possibly a bug, a suboptimal code, over complicated uh, expression, unused parentheses and methods and properties. Basically, whatever messes mess you create in the code, that is that is checked. Basically, it checks over over complicated expressions. So like you have written a for loop which is uh, over complicated, so you can uh, this this is PHPMD which uh, does the checking for that. So this is basically a PHPMD report which shows you how it it's done. So if you look at this, this is a file name which is there. And this shows you the problem on the line number 20 and avoid really long methods or or for that matter avoid excessive long variables in the variable in the code. Then address book has a cyclometric complexity of 10, 22. So this shows me all the complexity which is there on the uh, in the code and this reports are available to all the users. So all the users all the users next is our code coverage so i hope everybody can see the screen very well uh, what is code coverage basically code coverage